All right, good morning, everybody. Well, we are back at the airport from our two-day. Next day back. When I was at home, uh, you know, I was just gonna see what was going on the rest of the week. There was a uh, turn that popped in, so we're gonna go back to Cabo San Lucas today and uh, do a turn. So, beautiful day in uh, Phoenix. They've got a little bit of cloud action going on. A little bit of, you can see the uh, rain showers over there. It's always good in Phoenix when that happens because uh, it cleans out the air. It makes it really nice today. You can smell the, the rain in the air, so it's it's really nice. It looks like our airplane is still there from coming in last night at Delta 8. But we're going to be going out of Delta 3 today. Uh, most of the international stuff goes out of Delta 3. Got a Baron getting their fly on today. Um, but anyways, yeah, so uh, yesterday when we were taxiing out, we saw uh, about five max airplanes sitting out there and then driving in there's two max airplanes on the other side as well so looks like they're getting those things ready to go uh, phoenix is one of our big maintenance stations out there so a lot of times when they bring airplanes in from uh, seattle they come here and then they get them ready for uh, revenue service i do the max training uh next month in february so i'm, I'm anxious to get that done uh, do some reading on that and get the training done but uh, it was nice to see, you know, those Maxes coming back. All right, we're going to go get to the gate. Uh, we are right on time. So typically the international flights show an hour and a half early. So like I was saying, the international flights show an hour and a half early. That's just uh, give us a little bit extra time to go over the route um, and, you know, get all our paperwork together and, and all that good stuff. So uh, we're going to be kind of super, super early and get down there and, you uh, Get the airplane ready, you know, meet the crew and all that good stuff. <laughs> One thing I did find out, there is a, uh, a guy down there in Cabo San Lucas that we can text or, and coordinate, you know, food. So instead of getting uh, one of those box meals coming back, we're, uh, I'm gonna probably buy the crew a bunch of burritos, tacos, a bunch of Mexican food. So uh, I heard it's really good. I am a absolute lover of Mexican food. So I'm excited. <laughs> you know me, I'm a foodie. So anyways, hey, let's get to the gate and uh, start this day. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. All right, guys, we got here down here early. The lounge is empty. So. Couldn't help it. I broke down. Went to uh, one of the little places called Le Grand Orange. Got myself a burrito. <laughs> like I told you, I like Mexican food, so I hadn't had breakfast this morning. I'm gonna grab some breakfast, and then uh, we're gonna head to Cabo, and I'm gonna get some more food over there. <laughs> yeah, I gotta kick up the uh, the workouts for sure. <laughs> Anyways. Hey, we've got a little bit of time. Um, just because it's an international flight, we're showing a little, well, pretty early. So I'm gonna grab this and eat it real quick and then uh, head to the gate, which is which is right here. So not too far away. All right, guys, here we are, Delta Three. About to head on out to Cabo. Here's gonna be our route today. Um, there's a little bit of weather out there. We've got a turbulent spot here from 200 to 270. So we're gonna be climbing up to 41,000 feet today. So we should be above that. But of course we're gonna be climbing out on that. So we're gonna let our flight attendants know and make sure our passengers are down just for that little short portion. Once we find some of that smooth air uh, as we head south towards Cabo, it should be pretty nice. Um, there's no turbulent spots, but as always, we just gotta kinda see what goes on. But as you guys know, look at this. I got a printer again. It's the little things in life. So uh, got the printer. We're gonna go ahead and load the uh, box up here. We haven't gotten our clearance yet. Once we get that, show you guys that. And we'll uh, show you on the other side. We're gonna brief it up, brief up all our emergency uh, stuff, and then we'll head on out to Cabo. A real quick one today, just an hour and 45 minutes on the way down there. So once we get our clearance, we'll talk to you here in a second. All right, guys, we just got our uh, clearance via CPDLC. So we're gonna be heading out to Cabo San Lucas via the Storm 1 Tucson transition. Then it's filed. We'll climb to 8,000 feet. I've already set that there in the altitude. And then we'll expect 410 in three minutes. We got a departure frequency of 126.8. And you know me, I always check because it's always embarrassing to go to ground when you're supposed to be on departure. <laughs> so we're doing the storm. 
off a of seven, so we're gonna load the engine out stuff, and 126.8, which is right down there as well. So, next page of squawk of 0752, so we'll add that in there. And we responded with Wilco, so that way ATC knows that we did get the clearance, we acknowledged it, and then now we just have to brief it up as a group. So we'll go over all this to include our engine out off of runway seven left, which is a six DME. We'll make it turn to one six five. Um, outside it's a little, you know, we got high overcast, so um, we might get radar vectors, but uh, in lieu of that, we're just gonna go ahead and execute this plan if we do have an, a problem with one of the engines. Okay. So uh, that's it. Uh, we're gonna brief it up and then head on out to Cabo. We'll see you guys there in Cabo. guys we just got here Cabo San Lucas absolutely beautiful day outside um, just gorgeous gorgeous out here every time we come out here I'm, I say I, I say we need to come back and uh, do a vacation out here but uh, anyways um, getting out of Phoenix today is pretty busy we had uh, I think I counted 11 airplanes for departure once we got on the, uh, the runway um, so that's a good sign you know we've got uh, we've got some traffic going on and uh, actually coming in here to Cabo San Lucas uh, it was pretty busy we were like first in a, a line of airplanes coming in and uh, can't see it now but a big push uh, of airplanes left so you got American and Delta and United over there but it's been pretty uh, pretty busy coming in here a um, little bit of weather on our departure uh, out of the Phoenix area so it was a little turbulence up until we got to 41,000 feet smoothed out for a little bit but then uh, kind of off and on turbulent so we're gonna basically wash rinse repeat head back to Phoenix and uh, we know there's a little bit of weather out there and uh, so we're expecting the same bumps uh, on the way out so anyways that's what we're gonna do now I gotta don the vest uh, out there because you have to have the vest out here in the uh, Cabo area at uh, the Cabo uh, Airport it's uh, required so um, also required for us to do a walk around once we land too. So I'm gonna go out, do that, come back in, start programming everything. We're not leaving for another hour, so, and we got plenty of time. And the best thing is that the captain sprung for fish tacos. So uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have the, uh, the guy come out and bring us some, some good catering on the way home. So we're looking forward to that. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go out and do the walk around real quick and uh, come back in and uh, we'll show you the uh, setup for going back home. All right guys, just got back in from uh, doing the walk around. All right, I'm gonna do a, a big showcase right now. I'm actually flying with one of the coolest captains we have here. Um, you guys probably know him, Mr. Red Bull Air Race Pilot, Captain Kirby Chavel. Hey guys, I wanna say hello to everybody. We were just talking about, you know, a career in aviation. Uh, I love to give back to aviation. It's been so great to me and, and I've truly enjoyed it. And you know, things are not what they used to be. I mean, it, uh, this year has really changed some things in flying. And uh, But I always felt like, you know, if this is really, really what you want to do, then you should just go ahead and go for it anyway. I think there'll be a place for you here. Um, if you're in it to make a lot of money, you might want to try something else. But if you're in it because you love flying and that's what you want to do, and that's how you want to make your living, it's the best part-time job in the whole wide world. Take care. That's super cool. Uh, I thought you guys would get a uh, kick out of that. Uh, someone who's been in the industry for a long, long time, seen a lot of stuff. Um, I think I think it's important to get that wisdom from those guys that have been there and done that. They've seen the ups and downs, so uh, I just I hope you guys got a uh, kick out of that. I got a kick out of it when I found out I was flying with them today. Super, super cool guy. So uh, if you're following him, uh, you know he's on Instagram. He's on all the good stuff. So we're really, really neat. Uh, but uh, anyways. We're going to get back at it. Um, I'm just getting the airplane ready uh, for our return back home. <laughs> What's funny is we brought enough gas to come here and then turn around and come home without getting gas. So the, the fuel truck was out there, but uh, we didn't need them today. So 
All right, I'm gonna get it ready and then uh, we'll let you guys know kind of what we're doing on the way home. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna pick up our uh, clearance. Um, one of those uh, few locations where in the system we will pick it up via the airways, kind of like you guys are doing out at your own airport. You're just writing it down, you're getting it over clearance delivery. Uh, typically what we'll do is we'll get it over A cars, but uh, since we're in Cabo San Lucas, they don't have that capability. So we'll get it over the airwaves. So uh, come with me. We'll go to uh, clearance delivery, which is set on 135.2. And I have my clearance set right here as far as the route. And then I can uh, can follow along and make sure that uh, we get the clearance right. So here we go. Clearance delivery, southwest of 1922, clearance to Phoenix. 1922, you're clear to Phoenix, Southwest. You're clear to Phoenix by Anigo 1 Alpha Departure. As Alpha, November, Echo Golf, Oscar 1 Alpha Departure. Lima Tango, Oscar. Hotel Mike, Oscar. J92, Victor Yankee, Lima, Lima Alpha, Denos 5. Climb and maintain flight level 22022. 400 final, 2141 squad code. All right, Southwest 1922, we're clear to Phoenix via the Inigo 1 Alpha, Lima Tango Oscar, Hotel Mike Oscar, J92 to Via, then as filed, climb flight level 220, expect 400, and squawk 2141. The squawk 2141, advise ready to taxi to push back on 134.1, April. 134.1 for the push, uh, Southwest 1922, thank you. And that is it, uh, we got our clearance back to Phoenix. Uh, you heard that, this the Inigo 1 Alpha, so Inigo 1 Alpha is right here. So we're basically gonna depart uh, to the south, uh, make a turn with this SB, or uh, Sierra Delta 500, Sierra Delta 504, Tamit, Inigo, and then we'll be on a flight plan route, which would be direct to Lima Tinga. Lima Tango Oscar after that. We got the clearance. Um, Kirby and I will brief it up here in a little bit, uh, go over our emergency procedures, and then make sure that we uh, are routing everything is in the box. And then uh, there we go. So that's how we do it on clearance delivery. Uh, we do it uh, a couple of places in the States as well, uh, Tucson being one of them uh, that comes to mind really quickly. But uh, yeah, so that's how it is. Hope you guys like that. All right, guys, here we are. We are ready to leave. Uh, just show you the route really quick. Um, you heard the clearance on the deal. So basically, we're just heading straight up north. We got one uh, turbulent spot that's 24 to 31. We're going to 41, so we'll be above that. And then descending into Phoenix, where there's a little bit of weather over there. So not too bad. Um, I'm going to give the passenger brief if you guys want to listen to that. <laughs> got a uh, plane full of passengers, so here we go. Hey folks, welcome aboard the Azure 2 Pilots, uh, flight 1922 on the way to Phoenix. We push back here and uh, actually right about now. Um, right now Phoenix is calling 64 degrees. They've got partly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the east about 5 miles an hour. It's going to take us an hour and 41 minutes out to get 40,000 feet. Appreciate your business. Glad you joined us. Welcome on board. And that is how we do that. So now we're going to get going and uh, head back into Phoenix. So we'll see you in Phoenix. Guys, we are back in Phoenix. We're at the International Gate of Bravo 23. That's where we're going to clear customs. We'll go down there. Um, it's kind of a little special line for us. We'll just go straight to the uh, uh, agent and kind of clear that way, and then uh, we're done. It's a little bit of a walk from Bravo 23, but yeah, it is what it is. Flight was great. Uh, a little bit of bumpiness coming in, just in the lower altitudes. Uh, you know, it's just kind of expected with the weather that's moving through and uh, a little bit of a wind. But not too bad outside, looks good. So, hey, special thanks to Kirby. Hey guys, thank you. All right guys, we are back at the truck. Uh, man, that was a really, really good trip. How can you not get excited about that? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it was a super cool trip. Uh, really awesome flying with Kirby. The guy is one of the best pilots in the absolute world, yet he's the most humble human being you'd ever meet. Just a, a real class act, you know, kind of kind of one of those guys that you look to mentor and uh, to emulate when you upgrade, you know, the captain. Just really cool. So anyways, uh, thanks to Kirby. Uh, we had a lot of good conversations. I think he's talked me into doing some skydiving. <laughs> Never know. We'll see. Sounds interesting. Sounds fun. 
Why not? Let's do it. Anyways, hey, uh, really appreciate your guys' support as always. Thanks again. I'm gonna hop in the car, head home, and uh, edit this video and get it out to you. Hopefully uh, this week, probably on uh, Friday, like I normally do. Till then, hey, you guys stay humble and stay hungry. Keep at it. Um, I think we're rounding the corner. Just feels that way. Feels like good things are ahead. Positive attitude, right? Let's just keep it up. All right, guys. Thanks again. Thanks for your support. And uh, we'll talk to you next week.